Hi, I'm Julie McCann. I'm the manager of the Birmingham Branch Library. And welcome to Learn to Cook Hungarian Virtually. This is our first time to try this class. Uh, we at the Birmingham Library have been working with the Hungarian Club since September of 2018, offering Hungarian cooking classes to the community. What we're offering today was our most popular class. We had about 100 people that day learn how to make Hungarian nut roll. And you're lucky enough to learn today from a master. His name is Mike Cheesmar, and he is gonna help you to learn how to make this Hungarian specialty, which is especially nice during the holidays. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hello. I'm Mike Sismar and I will be making a Hungarian nut roll. Uh, I have four cups of all-purpose flour here in the bowl and then I'm going to be adding three tablespoons full of sugar and a teaspoon of salt and you kind of mix that together and then there is a starter the yeast and a quarter cup of warm milk and a pinch of sugar. And you let that set until you're, while you're setting up your, your flour and everything. This then you add into your flour. And then you separate four eggs and you use the yolks only. And you add that in. Then you melt a half a pound of butter, two sticks, and let it cool down so that it's cooled and melted. And that goes in to the flour mixture. Then we need a cup of half and half. And that's all of our wet ingredients that went into the uh, dry ingredients. And then that is mixed together. That's what it's looking like as it's being mixed. And we keep on cleaning the sides of the bowl into the moisture in the center. And when it starts to really come together, like it is right there, but you don't have all of the flour quite mixed up yet, then you go in with your hands. Take everything you can get off of the spoon. And then you start working the dough and try to get all of the flour that you have left in the bowl and you incorporate that into the dough. It's a soft dough, um, very easy to roll out when you're making. And then also this recipe makes four rolls. And if you make four of them when you're baking them, you put them close to each other on a baking sheet and they will rise. You don't prick them or anything. You just leave them fries with the yeast that's in them. They will rise. Instead of spreading out, they'll spread kind of up, which will give you a, a thicker uh, roll. And the filling in it, uh, different fillings can be used beside walnuts. Pecans, um, are another good filling. Apricots, raspberry, but they must be bought in at a bakery. They're, they have to be pastry fillings, not jellies or jam that you would get on the grocery store off the shelf um, because those will just melt from the heat. 
your your um, bakery fillings won't do that. So that's just a um, tip that you can use. And your dough should look pretty much like that. And then what we found is a good tip. Take it and weigh this on a scale if you have. You can eyeball making it into thirds, but it makes it easier to take out um, your dough if you got it uh, it, it divided into thirds and rolling them out individually. Otherwise, you've got to keep on figuring what you've got here and what is a third of it. Um, fi found out that weighing it usually, I think it, the last time I did it, I watched, um, it weighs close to three pounds. So that would be pound pieces that you would individually make into discs, wrap them in the cellophane, and put them in the refrigerator. This dough must be refrigerated overnight before you can uh, roll it out for your roll the following day. Uh, just to correct what I have said, the dough makes three uh, nut rolls um, or whatever filling you want to put in it. Now we're going to make the filling, which my sous chef has beaten the four egg whites that you had from the four eggs that you used in the dough. And you incorporate that in a pound of walnuts or pecans, whatever you like to use, and you take and you incorporate the egg whites, you put that in, and then a cup and a half of sugar goes into that also, and then you kind of fold that in. Then while you're not through yet, you take the rind of two lemons and you incorporate that into your filling. And if your filling, when you get done, is not real smooth, um, you can add a little bit of milk to it and just keep on until you get a spreadable consistency and we're getting pretty close to that now. Just make sure that you incorporate all of your walnuts in with the egg whites and the sugar. Uh, and the walnuts uh, can be chopped in a food processor or you can uh, use a grinder and grind them whatever you have and whichever you choose to do. As uh, long as your, your nuts are totally ground as you see here and you mix this walnuts up and make sure that you incorporate all of the ingredients thoroughly into it and this recipe for the filling this is one pound of walnuts and that's for one roll so you'll need it if you're going to make all three at the same time you would need three pounds of walnuts and then tripling everything else you're cut you would be four uh, cups of sugar um, lemon rind probably from about five lemons and then you would need um, 12 egg whites beaten to make it uh, for three rolls and now your filling is ready and it looks like that and then now we will be doing the next step, which is rolling the dough out for this filling to go into. Okay, now we are going to roll our dough out into a rectangle. Uh, and if your dough is in the refrigerator, it's uh, better to take it out and let it sit on the cover at least a half an hour or so. And make sure that your, as you see now, mine has stuck a little bit should have had a little bit more flour underneath that, but um, we'll do it like this and get it in more flour so that it doesn't stick to your board. 
and then we continue to roll. And you want it, you don't want it too, too thin. Mine is ripping a little bit here, but well, as you see, I didn't have quite enough flour underneath there. You just pick your dough up and kind of do that. You can fix it real easy. And then you continue rolling. Okay, now we will take our filling and that's how your filling should be. You should be able to easily move it on the dough. If it is hard, then you need to, to add a little bit of milk to it to make it spreadable. And you can spread it I'm fairly close to the edge that we, your filling will be, you can kind of taper it down, not too thick on the ends, because you're going to roll this now. And if you think it's too much filling, then you can stop. I may stop now, because it's getting rather filled and we'll start to roll now. I'm going to take it from this side. I usually, if this side is a little more ragged than this side, I start with this side because it's going to be rolled in. And you just continue rolling. And then before you pick it up, you take and you take and you tuck in with your finger on each end. So whatever filling is close by there, it'll all be tucked in. And then it's put on the cookie sheet. And then that is left to be to covered with a, a a clean dishcloth and you leave that rise for two hours in a warm place and then after that you will take and you do egg wash an egg with a little bit of milk or water and then with a brush you paint that and then it is put into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes um, you can check it from time to time depending on how your 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 uh, oven is. If it gets too warm and it's getting too dark, then you know your your roll is done. Uh, so you can take it out at maybe 40 minutes or so, and that way uh, it'll be fully cooked. When you're making your dough, the dough is made one day, placed in the refrigerator overnight, and then the second day. So it's actually a two-day process. One day is mixing your your uh, dough all together, and the second day. Um, your filling that goes into it and then you roll out your dough and fill it and then let it rise and into the oven it goes in. After it comes out of the oven, this is your finished product. Um, you can see it's nicely filled. Um, it is a very good dessert. It holds up for quite a while. And this recipe was 
my grandmother's, and then my mother used it, and now I am using it. So it's been a generation type thing. Um, the nut roll is pretty much a holiday type of thing. Um, I believe in Europe it was used at Easter and Christmas. So that's when we uh, usually bake them.